In this video, I'll take you through the process of printing student schedules. I'm here at Bridgetown Regional High School. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, select the grade 10 students. I'm going to go to Reports. I'm going to go to Report Works. And then because Bridgetown Regional High School has uh, both middle school and high school, there's two options here. Uh, because I selected grade 10, I'm going to select the BRHS senior student schedule. And these reports should be populated in all of the schools. Now it's a little tricky uh, about setting this up. First of all, I'm going to check the box here for select the current students. So there's 70 students in my current selection, which I chose as the grade 10s. For the schedule to print out properly, you have to pick starting dates and end dates that will include each of the days in your schedule. So at Bridgetown they have an eight day schedule. So I'm going to pick some dates where the eight days are uninterrupted. So if I choose a start date of September the 16th, so I can, you can either enter that in or you can use the calendar function here. So the ninth month, 16th day of 2010, and an end date for Bridgetown, the 27th of September, that, that period in between then uh, allows for eight school days, starting with the day one on the 16th, ending with the day eight on the 27th. So when we print this schedule, it's going to include all eight days in the schedule for the student. Uh, the last step is to click Run Now. The radio button should always by default be selected. And we'll click Submit. So you can see I've run quite a number of reports here. Uh, this may be the only report that shows up in your queue. It's the first time that you've been doing it. So I have a list of completed reports as well as queued reports. So the report I'm currently running, uh, you can see who it was created by. Its status is pending. If you click the Refresh button here, it refreshes it. And we can see now that that report that I had ran tells us when it was started, tells us when it was completed, and now it tells us the status. Uh, we can also see here that we can cancel the job, so maybe a large job uh, that you decide you don't need or maybe it's taking too long, you can always cancel it, and you can delete these jobs as well. And at some point I should go through and delete some of this list of completed jobs that I have. Now to view it, we can click on the completed. Uh, it'll open then as an Adobe PDF. We can either save it or we can open it. If I open it so we can see what was in there, this is what I see. Uh, so these schedules are sorted by homeroom. Here because I chose the grade 10 students, we're starting in 10A. You can see across the top we have days 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, it's a little hard to read there if I pull this up a little bit. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then across the bottom, we have the, the periods. Okay, so this school has a high school period one, two, three, four, and five during the day. So on day one, this student will have math 10, phys ed 10 for a double period, integrated French, and then finishing with English. And you can see up above here that this is page one of 70 that we printed and you can scroll through and see the schedules for each of those students. The final step then is to print these off. You can simply click on the print button here and send them off to your printer. So that's a quick tutorial then on printing high school or middle school schedules. Uh, the keys being again to pick a date range where you're going to have an uninterrupted complete cycle at your school.